source. You don't need to compromise your integrity, women. Sleeping with some men to try to get something off of them. Oh, that's sin. You need to repent of that and ask God to forgive you. He'll take care of you. God has taken care of me all these years, my goodness. You don't have to get on drugs to try to clear your mind and feel better, escape from your problems. Face them. Face your problems. Stop escaping. All you're doing is destroying your own temple. You're destroying your own body, your own mind. Your families, you lost your kids because of all that mess and corruption. God wants to put your family back together. He's the only one that can do it. Stop being stubborn. Stop having a hard heart and repent. Ask him to forgive you. My goodness, he exalts the humble. If you humble yourself before the Lord, he's gonna lift you up. That's all he's looking for. Stop sitting on your high horse and saying, I don't need God. I have my, I, can, I, got the, I got the answers for myself. No, you don't. You don't even know what you're talking about. You're just full of pride and stubbornness and rebellion. Those are the things that are keeping you from the blessing of God. And we need to repent of that. No, we're not right. We've all gone astray. We've all walked in our own ways. It's time to repent. Woe to those that call evil, and good, uh, uh, evil good and good evil, who put darkness for light and light for darkness, who put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter, saying that the darkness is all good. Everything that's done in, in darkness is good. No, it's not. It's not. It's destroying people's lives. It's just destroying society. And let me tell you, there's going to be a time where we get so far away from God that God is going to say enough. Now, it, now a judgment is complete. Now it's time to pour it out. God's going to bring correction on his people because they refuse to repent. Because if we refuse to repent, all of us all refuse to repent, guess what? We're going to hear from our father. Just like when we had children, we disciplined them when they did wrong. Why? To try to keep them from suffering. God is the same way. He's a loving father. He desires to give good gifts to who? To his children, those that belong to him. God wants to bless. God wants to give you life. He wants to give you peace. He wants to give you prosperity and success in your life. So many of you have dreams, have had dreams that have been dashed to pieces. And you're, and you're distraught, and you're, you're discouraged, you're broken. God wants to restore all that to you. God's come to give you a future and a hope. He wants to make your future bright. He's not all about, oh, I'm on a tear. No, God is giving you a chance to repent. God is giving you a chance right now to make your relationship right with him. He's a loving father. You're not out there alone. You're not out there without hope and help. Not anymore. Not that you know the truth. Not that the word of God has come to you today. You're not alone anymore. You've never been alone. God's always been there. He's waiting on you. God has been waiting for you all this time to call on him, to come to him, to repent. To make your relationship right with him. The Bible tells us to draw nigh to God. Start coming near to God and he will draw nigh to you. God will start getting near to you when you make that first step towards him. Because he's always been there. He's never left us. He's always been there. He's the creator. Through every generation, all the generations gone past, God has been there. He hasn't left anyone. He hasn't left mankind. He's still there. But now he's, he's enlightening us, bringing the true word of the Lord, telling us to come and repent and come back to me, America. Come back to me, Chicago. Come back to me, families of the earth. Call on me and I will answer you and show you great and mighty things that you don't even know. Jeremiah 33 and 3. Call on him. He's there. He loves you. He wants you this day. He wants you to come to him today. And I want to, if anyone, whoever's out there today and you're hearing this message and God is speaking to you, this is the day to make it right with God because tomorrow is not promised to anyone. You don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. Today's the day of salvation. I want to invite you this day that if God is speaking to your heart and, and he is, that you would pray this prayer with me right now and give your life back to God. Give your life over to the Lord. Ask him to forgive you. And if you're sincere and you mean it, God is going to forgive your sins and he's going to cleanse you from all unrighteousness. He's going to make this a new day for you. It'll be a new beginning. He's going to make all things new for you today. 
If whoever's listening to this broadcast, whoever's ears are open right now, I want to invite you to pray this prayer with me. Prayer of salvation. Be in agreement. And I'm going to pray for you too. There is a number at the bottom of the screen that if you need prayer, you want somebody to pray for you. You have issues that you're going through and you need help and guidance. We're going to be there to encourage you and pray with you. That's all we're there for. We're not there to judge you. You don't have to go through and confess all your sins and, and, and tell us how rotten you are. It's okay. God already knows. We just want to be there for you to encourage you and to lift you up. That's what we're here for. That's why we're here. That's why I'm here today. That I've been there. I've been where you are. I've been in bondage. I've been in my sins. I told, before, I've told God before, I don't want to hear that stuff. I know where you're at. I've been there. That's why I'm here today to tell you with all of my heart to come back to the Lord. Because God is going to heal your, he's going to heal your body. He's going to heal your soul. He's going to heal your family, your children. Whatever it is that you're going through today, your finances, your mind, God wants to heal you. He wants to heal your heart. He wants to show you how much he loves you. It doesn't matter who you are or what you've done. God is calling you today. And this message is for all out there that would hear the voice of the Lord. Pray with me right now. I want to encourage you to pray. Don't be afraid. Don't be stubborn and rebellious. Receive the gift of salvation today. For the, it's a free gift that's already been paid for. All you have to do is receive it today. Will you pray with me? Here's a prayer. Let us pray together right now. And repeat after me. And just mean it in your heart. And God sees your heart and he knows that you're sincere. Let's pray. Repeat these words. Dear Lord Jesus, I come to you now and I ask you to forgive me of all of my sins. I acknowledge that I'm a sinner and that I've walked in my own ways and I've committed sin and rebellion in your eyes and I ask you to forgive me and cleanse me. I'm so sorry, Lord, for everything that I've done. I'm so sorry, Lord, for breaking your commandments and walking in my own ways. Lord, I ask you to forgive me. I ask you, Jesus, to come into my heart and cleanse me from all unrighteousness. Lord Jesus, I ask you to be the Lord of my life today. Let us have fellowship today, Lord, you and I. Dear Lord Jesus, I give you my life this hour. And I thank you, Lord, that your blood cleanses me from all my sins and unrighteousness, Lord. And I receive the gift of salvation today. In, your, in the name of your precious son, Jesus, amen and amen. Hallelujah. Let me tell you that that is the most important prayer that you will ever pray is a prayer of salvation. And let me tell you, the Bible tells us that, the, that the, all the angels in heaven are rejoicing for one that comes to repentance, one that comes back to God. That you might not see it with your eyes, but in heaven right now, for everyone that prayed this prayer, there's a party going on. The angels are rejoicing for one of you that have come back to the Lord. I thank God that his word does not return void. That his word has gone forth over this network and airwaves, calling those of you out there to repentance and coming back to him. And it's the voice of the Lord that you're hearing today. It's not my, it's not even me. It's the spirit of God that's speaking to you this day. And let me tell you, there's, we're, we're rejoicing with all heaven over one of you that have come back to the Lord. Call us today. Give us a call. Let us know that you prayed that prayer. Call us this day. Let us know if we can continue to pray for you and, and minister to you in any way. We're there for you. Someone's going to be on that other side of the line. If it's busy or if you, uh, if you get a voicemail, just leave a message and we'll get right back to you as soon as we hang up with whoever else is on the line. I just want to say God bless you today. Uh, know that God loves you. Know that you're not alone and we love you too. And we just cover you in the blood of Jesus and we release the, the love of God over you right now. In Jesus' name, God bless you all. Bye-bye.